Good morning. We're making coffee this morning. And this is our view out the window. Okay, this is how we make one of our breakfasts. Mini uh, Swedish pancakes. Not Swedish pancake mix, plain old pancakes, but so we're making some bacon outside. And there's that beach again. I'll probably have to switch that butane soon. It wasn't a full can. And look at that weather. Hard to beat this. The temperature is much uh, nicer than it looks. It's definitely a uh, shorts weather. Okay, this is our breakfast haul here. Just some fried eggs, some Swedish pancakes, some bacon. Of course, we gotta have some maple syrup and whipped cream. And all right by the ocean. Okay, this is our shot from the RV roof. You can see the uh, Starlink over there. And look at the beach here. What an amazing view. Let me give you a little glimpse of uh, what we do. You can see I'm um, doing a little bit of fishing and this is our view and if you look you can see our RV way in the background over there right about there you can actually see the uh, Starlink up on the roof too but this is some of the reasons why we do all the mods we do is because of this campground it's right on the pacific coast highway and there are no hookups so we do like to try to stay self-contained the best we can with the added water tank and the maximum we can go is about four nights five days with the setup that we have until we need to get more water dump and of course food and look at this beach not many people here at all and the weather is perfect now we just have to haul in some fish Let me show you my fire pit and my grill combination. Come on over here. These boogie boards out of the way. And this is it right over here. Now it is heavy. Come on, follow me over here. We're going to set it up here, but it's nice and compact. You see how flat it is? So inside this uh, canvas bag, what I have is I have a bottom plate that collects all the ashes. The fire pit itself, it just holds like a, like a triangle, just like that. 
and then here's a grill grate it doesn't come with this i made my own i just cut a big a grill grate in half and then this is a cooking bridge and grill combination so this is the actual bridge and you can adjust it up and down so if you want it hotter you just bring it bring the grill down if you want it cooler of course you bring the bridge up like this really uh, uh that's it we use the chimney to put some charcoal in here and we can use this both as a fire pit or a grill here we're making dinner unfortunately we have the uh, generator on a pretty overcast day but this is the view we're making some uh, short ribs here have some peppers here okay here we go there's a big pile of short ribs This is our RV life, Rincon Parkway. Okay, we got the uh, dinner going on here. We have a little bit of rice here. Some chimichurri. And we have some halibut fillets here. With some broccoli and cauliflower. And then of course, with this great view. Look at that view. The sun has already set, but we do get the daylight still, which is the best. So we're making some nachos in the convection oven. I'll show you what it's like once it comes out. Again, convection, not microwave. And we're going to make some fry bread for uh, dessert later. Of course, we're watching the hockey game NHL on TV right now I forgot to mention we're watching the NHL game but it's actually it's streamed through uh, YouTube TV and using Starlink as our internet which is nice you don't have to worry about the uh, data limitations 
Our dog's ready to. She's eating her food. Okay, here's the finished nachos. We just need to put the salsa on top. But how does that look? I'm going for this that one. That looks, looks amazing. With a little bit of beef. With a little bit of beer. Beer and nachos. Good combination. And the beach. And a hockey game. Hard to beat this combination. Hey, what are you doing? We are making fried bread. Ooh, look at that sun setting. What do you think of the sunset? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. So fried bread, we'll take a piece like this, like this, we already tested, and the oil is it just getting ready. So let's go ahead and put the other pieces on. Okay, there's two, there's three. Card with one hand and here's four looks like that's the maximum we can fit in here and then what we and very important is you got to flip it over before it burns you see that and you can flip it over many times as you want but you want to make sure you cook it see that oh that looks so good that looks like pie crust it does look like pie crust Smells good. Mm -hmm. And this is our appetizer. That one looks good. Okay, what are you doing now? We're putting the butter on top of the fried bread. Butter on the fried bread. Let's try not to make a mess, but can you put some sprinklies on? No, oh, no, no, no. We want to do. Let me show you. you put, get a pinch, and you want to release it slowly, and go around like that. Otherwise, you have too much in the center, but we can always knock it off. And because you are the helper, you can do the testing. Go ahead and pick one and uh, sit down and do a test, and let me see your reaction. <laughs> What is this called? Fried bread. Fried bread? Okay, let me see. <laughs> How is it? It's delicious. This is why we like camping at the beach. Look at this. We have the whole beach almost to ourselves. Tell me, what was your favorite part of this camping trip? Fish tacos! Fish tacos. Yes, that was definitely one of the highlights. Do you think we should have kept the Corbina we caught? No. No? Why not? Because too many Corbinas. Too many what? Too many Corbinas. Too many Corbinas? 